Raman microscopy has been used for quite a long time to generate chemical maps. This non-destructive technique is particularly well suited to analyze and display the distribution of various chemical compounds within a sample down to the sub-micron level. Nowadays, it's possible to combine state-of-the-art hardware and software features to create such chemical images within minutes or even seconds. Numerous types of samples qualify for such analysis, whether it be pharma, life science, semiconductors, polymers, or carbon materials such as graphene or nanotubes. The fast mapping tools will be demonstrated here with the following example. This sample is a bilayer graphene deposited on a silicon substrate. The video image clearly indicates some heterogeneity on the surface with a number of visible spots or cracks. Raman is a perfect tool to examine the graphene layering and additionally it will help identify the nature of these spots or cracks. Let's start the fast mapping. We will focus on this area delimited by the square. The measurement settings are the following. The integration time of each spectrum is 4 milliseconds and the step between two measurement points is 200 nanometers. The SWIFT option that optimizes all parameters to allow acquisition times down to a millisecond is turned on. Using the cursors, it is possible to monitor live the intensity of the different spectral features. In this case, Let's focus on the intensities of the G-band in green and the 2D band in red. The relative intensities of the bands give some indication about the type of graphene. On the bottom left window, the corresponding images showing the locations of the different graphene types are shown. It is known that monolayer graphene exhibits more intense 2D band than multilayer graphene. On the other hand, Graphite, which can be considered as bulk multilayer graphene, will show a much more intense G band. The monitoring of the 2D band in red reveals that monolayer graphene is present in certain regions. These are the red spots appearing on the chemical image. On the other hand, some multilayer or maybe even graphite is detected in the areas where the green color appears intense. Remember, the sample is a bilayer graphene and these two maps are actually showing the defects, monolayer and multilayer. Additional data treatment can be applied to further analyze the dataset. Baseline correction followed by multivariate analysis is thus often employed. If you already know the spectra of the different graphene types, the use of chemometrics, such as classical list squares, will help generating images by calculating and displaying the contribution of each graphene type within every single spectrum of the map. For example, subtle details, such as the cracks, can be seen clearly in the map of the multilayer graphene in green. Other multivariate tools are available, including unsupervised ones which do not require the input of reference spectra, for example PCA, MCR and clustering. Additional rendering options are available, displaying the data as a 3D plot. or changing the color palette. Or overlaying the maps of the different compounds. This type of fast mapping is not restricted to carbon materials such as the one studied here. 
Various sample types are also good candidates, including pharmaceutical materials, semiconductor devices, geological sections, polymer laminates, or biological cells and tissues.